Hey there, everybody. It's Mike Delisio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. And today we're going to be taking a look at an expansion for one of the better regarded Euro games of the last few years, Heaven and Ale. This expansion is called Kegs and More, coming from the Kiesling and Schmidt collaboration. Two to four players, 60 to 90 minutes. One great pint deserves another. After years of honing its brewing skills, your monastery has been commissioned to deliver its glorious ale to the local tavern. So, looks like this is going to be having some delivery boards, more tiles to add to this strategy game. Let's take a look inside the box and see what this adds to the base game. All right, well, we've got our cardboard components right on the top, but I want to take a quick gander at the rule book and see if this gives us a little bit of a sense for what these pieces are going to be. There is a cart that you can build, which I will not attempt to do on camera. Uh, general overview. This expansion adds a delivery board to each player's cloister garden. You go round and round with your cart, picking up kegs from your monastery and delivering them to the taverns. But your monastery storage is limited, and besides the kegs, you also need to keep enough hay for your horses. All right, well, limited resources, kind of a standard in these types of resource management games, and this seems to be no exception there. We've got our setup for the expansion and the changes that it might take. For the most part, the game is played as described in the base game. However, this expansion adds steps to the following situation. So when you move your player figure to a space that holds kegs, pails, bales, excuse me, and or the carter die, uh, then that changes. Enclosing a shed spot, preparing for the next round. And the end of the game is as usual, work out your score according to the base game rules, and then you add some things along as well. You're adding points for kegs on your delivery board. Um, and so new ways to get points, all right? Let's take a look at those boards, the delivery boards, as I believe they call them. All right, so these are just going to be added onto your existing player board, single-sided here. Give you an idea of those. There we go. In the different player colors. Let's take a look at some of the cardboard bits here. Again, I'm not going to attempt to, to punch out those carts. Just like the base game, perfectly functional, good cardboard tokens there for the barrels. They look like they're going to incorporate seamlessly into the base game, at least just from a cursory glance. I obviously would have to have the base game in front of me to know if they truly are the same. Here we've got a wooden die and some wooden bits that might look familiar to those of you who have played the base game, and I'm assuming if you're looking at this video, you probably have played the base game. So, there you go. Looks like just new ways to score different strategies that you can potentially try to incorporate in Heaven and Ale with the expansion, Kegs and More. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.